OGV are joined with Nicholas from Parker Hannafin. Hi, Nicholas. Hello, good, good to meet you. So, can you tell us how you're finding Adipec 2018 so far and what are you hoping to take away from the event? Uh, for us, it's a really good show. We have a, a lot of customer visits, it's, uh, it's quite exciting. We see that people are back in the industry, excited about the future for the oil and gas. So, so yeah, we are, we are looking for all those new customer relationships and continue to develop the company. So tell us more about Parker Hannafin and your current relationship with the Middle East. So we've been in the Middle East for a long time. Uh, we're very well known in the oil and gas. We are one of the major players. Uh, we do a lot of products around instrumentation, filtration, hoses. Uh, it's, it's a major market for us, of course, in the oil and gas. Um, we still have a lot to do. We always want to do more. And uh, on, So Parker is a very large corporation. We employ uh, about 57,000 people. We do more than 14, uh, sorry, yeah, 14 billion dollar uh, turnover. So, uh, and there are always new acquisition uh, coming up. So, yeah, we still we, we see a huge amount of business for us in the Middle East. It's an important market for us. And do you have any exciting products you could share with us? Yeah, uh, you might see some in the background. Um, in, in all the different divisions, uh, a, a key um, strategy for Parker is really to work on innovation. Um, in the oil and gas market, we are going deeper, the temperatures are higher, the pressures are higher. So there are corrosion issues, there are fugitive emission issues, pressure issues, so we are working on all those uh, subjects. In the background, you see some of the valve that can go up to 15,000 PSI for the upstream. We have uh, hoses that can go also to a thousand bar. So it's, yeah, we, we, are, we are constantly developing new products and it's, uh, it's exciting also to have that relationship with the end user to discuss about their issues on, on finding what they need. And that's really at the core of, of what Park is trying to do. And in the industry at the moment, there's a big focus on sort of innovation, like you said, digitalization. What sort of impact is that having on Parker Hannafin? So, so we are working on that as well, on the IoT, um, Industry 4.0. Uh, and uh, so we, are, we already do things that help the customer to have a better idea uh, of where, you know, for example, the quality of oil is on their system. So you, you have some device here that will inform the customers right away that they need to change the, quality, uh, the, the oil or clean the oil on their system, on their hydraulic systems. We also use PTS, which is a, a marking uh, scanning device that helps all, also people to do pre preventive maintenance. Uh, we think there is still a lot to do and a lot of conversation to have with end users to develop those new products. And we are, we want more of that. Uh, the business model of Parker is to to go uh, to do business via distributors and, and today um, we need to be closer to some of the end users to talk about the future and this is really what we're excited about yeah and we we want more of that so all end users please call us we want to help <laughs> great thanks nicholas thanks for joining us today and enjoy the rest of the show thank you for coming to see us today thank you very much